What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Crick Dead Boogie Time. I just want to bring you this short story about this woman living in a van. She got over 300 rats. They said that the lady from San Diego, California, uh, the residents band together to help the woman. She had hundreds of rats that could be seen crawling inside the van, and it was parked outside a convenience store. So she got a van parked outside a convenience store, and these people letting her live there. I think she worked there. Everywhere, there's no place in the van where they hadn't gotten into. The wine, the hunters, eating, all that stuff been eaten up by the rats. So what I understand is uh, if you live in your van in the parking lot, somebody need to come to your assistance because that's crazy. You're going to see this van. Man, that make me don't want to go in that store. Because them, the, them rats in that van, they in that store. Let me let you hear a little snippet and let's see this stuff. And I'll be right back with some more commentary, y'all. It's an unusual and disturbing sight. That's crazy. Of rats crawling inside Look a at van that, y'all. The Del Mar convenience store. Rico! Not operable after the rats chewed through the wires. Everywhere. There was not one place in the van where they had not. That's crazy. To the wiring engine. They came and went from the engine area. Look at that. The Humane Society made multiple trips to remove the rodents. They are all pet rats, all of them healthy and now available. I don't want no rats in my house. She's extremely helpful during the entire process as well. We're trying to get rid of rats. Love her pets. Uh, she just Look at that. I'm going to feed them and live in that. Ooh, that's what nasty. Like and they said she was working at Circle K. This video made the rounds Ain't no reason for that. I know I'll be hoarding stuff, but uh, not that. I ain't been hoarding no rats. You can feed 300 rats, but you can't find nowhere to live. She works full time at Circle K. Recently, she's been living in her van. She became homeless, moved into her van with the two rats. They have babies. Jackson and other neighbors set up this GoFundMe. It's raised more than $4,000. Another neighbor mm. donated a car to Carl. But she got a job. She get her mental health care. That's the problem. I think that's the problem, y'all. I think that's the whole problem is the mental health issues. Because uh, ain't nobody in their right mind going to be living like that. It's got to be the mental health issues. Somebody needs to help. I know she got family or something somewhere. Somebody needs to step in and intervene. But that's crazy, y'all. 300 rats? You living in your van with 300 rats? That's a lot of rats, y'all. A lot of rats. I see, if I see one rat in my house, I'm going to be paranoid. I'm going to be doing everything. I'm, I'm going to buy 50 mousetraps for one rat. But they said they were pet rats. I don't want no rat for no pet. I don't really want I don't need no pets, period. But uh, what y'all think about that? They said a woman, Carla, who works at Sucker K, she had a full-time job. I ain't no excuse for that. And like I said, unless she had mental health issues. But if her mental health issues was that bad, she couldn't be working full-time. She probably be working part-time or something, but full-time, you got ain't no the excuses. I'm telling you, they, she needs some help. Somebody need to do something. She, but good thing she ain't had no babies up in there. So she was solo. She ain't had no kids, so that's a good thing. But the bad thing is 300 rats in a van? And you got this parked outside the shopping mall, parking lot, and they know these van, rats in this van, and they ain't did nothing. So they might got rats in the store. Them rats going to smell that food? Rats can smell food? They going to get up in there. What you think them rats can't get up inside your store? Because that van in the parking lot, they get up in there, and then you got rats in your store, they got to call the health department. I'm glad the neighbor did step in and help this woman because this is crazy. There were like 300 rats in the van, Jackson said. Jackson and other neighbors stepped up and set up a GoFundMe account who has raised more than $4,000. Another neighbor donated her a car. So the another neighbor gave her a car. I love praying this woman don't do that car like she did that van. Because ain't no pets. That say, I know people love their pets, but you got to love yourself. How you going to love your pets more than you love yourself? That's crazy. They don't have the car, and now they're trying to get her some mental health care and a place to live. They said she was a gentle person. No one knew she was homeless. She been contributing to society. She just fell on hard times. So, you know, it happened to the best of us. It happened to the best. But sometimes you got to, you know, take uh, steps. You got to do inventory. 
I'm homeless now. Can I afford to, to live with these rats? And I'm pretty sure they had 300 babies overnight. So this had to be an ongoing process. Y'all leave that down in the box below. If you knew one of your relatives was living like that, would you let them live like that? Would you try to help them out, y'all? Because this is just ridiculous. 300 rats in the van in the parking lot, and the van ain't been running, and nobody helped her. Because it had to take a minute. I understand she had the two, but if she ended up with more than 300, they ain't just happened overnight. It took 300 rats, took a minute to be born, y'all. You, if, they, if one rat had 300 rats at one time, and 298 rats, because it takes two to make the rat. So 300 rats minus the two parents, 298 rats, did not, was not born overnight. It's your boy Crick D in the building. Y'all leave that thing down in the box below. Rico! You can't have them, dog. Them already got the Hamas society got them. They dropped them out. And I'm gone!